Uh, this is my uh, version of a homemade greenhouse. This thing is uh, it's 12 foot wide and it's uh, it's 48 foot long. This side over here at the bottom, I got it open. And the way I built this thing was uh, I used cattle panels. And cattle panels are like what you see on this shelf right here, where these plants are, these onions are. It's just a wire fence like that the farmers use. There's one down here on the ground too. There are six, it's just laying there, 16 feet long, four foot wide. And what I did was I come in and I set these poles 12, in rows 12 foot apart from the left side to the right side. Then I took and uh, I had some angle iron, why I used it, but you could use it a 2x4 and a 2x6. Uh, Put the 2x4 right underneath the 2x6, like right there, and that'd give you the same lip to set the cattle panels on. They're just setting on that lip right there. And what I did was where the cattle panels come together, each and every one of them, I tied these things all the way across. I laced them together with rope all the way across the other side. So they're they're tied together. And you can see that one there is pretty good right there. So all these there's 12 cattle panels in all. They're $20 a piece. That's $240 for cattle panels. And the poles, I let them stick up extra high. But uh the reason for that was when I tied these ropes up here to to the top of the pole and went across and back down the other side did that both ways you can kind of see the rope over there there's this rope over here and it goes across the top and it goes back down the bottom there and this one up here goes across the top and back down the bottom over here well before I put them on there though I took and I put my plastic on here and I made these little brackets on here and I tied these about it every other square, which is roughly a foot apart. And that's what holds the plastic down. And it keeps it, uh, you can see all the different ropes all the way down the whole thing. These are, uh, this rope right here is what they use to pull wire through conduit. It's a flat type rope. It's really strong, a nylon or something, but it's really strong rope. They, most of your phone companies and stuff throw it in a dumpster. The poles all come from work, which is your local uh, co-op. They usually throw the poles away anyway. The old poles they take down that are broken off and the tops are still good. And uh, I wish I had done put them all in tall like this side right here. You can see all those top ropes now. But it's turned out pretty good. It's held up to several winds. Down here in this far end though, I built me a wind wall. Just uh, four poles and some 2x4s and some metal on there just so that stop the wind from blowing through here too hard <laughs> and in here I got my tomatoes growing they're doing pretty good right now it, I got this thing all planted pretty late these tomato plants right here are all looking pretty good there's some I started out here from seeds and they're starting to catch up they're starting to turn pretty green now but uh, I'll have about 20 tomato plants when I'm done and uh, here's, my, here's more these are all potatoes growing in buckets. Growing all this stuff in buckets this year. Here's some, uh, I believe this is my broccoli. I got started and I'm gonna transplant them into buckets. And I got some uh, cabbage right here. It's gonna go into buckets when they get bigger. And here's more tomato, potato plants. They're all growing in buckets. A few of them don't look too good, but some of them look really good. And uh, it's been kind of a learning experience. I got more potatoes I planted in here, and they're just starting to come up. Just a few of them just starting to pop up, pop up out of there. And the onions down here, like, they're doing pretty good. Big thing is make sure you keep them watered. You know, they got to have plenty of water. Don't want to let them dry out. But the onions are doing really good there. Hmm, something got in there and ate that one off. I did that. Anywho, I just thought I'd show you what my greenhouse looks like. I got me a cow shocker right here. And two little wires run around the bottom right there. 
What that does is keep some squirrels out of there. They come in there and want to dig in all my pots. It runs around all around the outside over here. And uh, keeps them out of pretty good. And down at the bottom of here, I just took a piece of plastic pipe and stuck it in there. As you can see, and I just uh, folded the plastic back, pulled it around right there. And it keeps the wind from blowing it out, you know. Gets caught by the wind. You can see at the bottom where it's kind of like doubled up. And uh, I'm not done with it, but just to give you a good idea how to build a pretty inexpensive greenhouse, I already had the cattle panels, had the, all the wood to run, even had all the poles, the poles were free. The only I had to buy was $40 worth of plastic, and this was one roll of plastic, uh, 20 foot by 50 foot. And I just rolled it out, cut it off, cut it off the 15 foot way, 50 foot way, at 16 foot 8 inches. And I had three pieces enough to do this whole whole greenhouse. But anyhow, good luck, and uh, maybe you guys can use this idea. It seems like it's holding up pretty good to the weather and everything, and uh, the wind and everything. Don't seem like it bothers it too much. It's got plenty of support for the plastic. Give her a whirl. Build it any length, any length you want to build it. The poles this way run about 10 foot apart, and the ones be, and from side to side. You're talking. 12 foot and it makes a plenty big greenhouse you can walk right in there no problem at all I did put the cattle panels there 30 inches off the ground two and a half two and a half uh, foot off the ground but like I was telling you a while ago if you uh, I don't see a two by four out here but if a person would sit of buying metal they would just take and they would set themselves a two by four right below this two by six right here. That would give you the shelf you need to set your cattle panels on. You wouldn't need the angle iron. And you know, it'd be a lot cheaper. But anyway, thanks for your time and thanks for watching. I'll probably bring you an update when I get more of my plants planted in here and let you see how it's doing. Thanks for your time. Bye.